would see depth if the boat was in the water. And then depth, when you tap that, you get, the, in essence, the depth screen in the middle. So it gives you usually, again, if the boat was in the water, a scrolling histogram of the bottom. And then you get your air temp and you get your water temp. Okay, so it's, it's there and it's pretty simple. The other information that you can have in that is the media page. Now the media page is camera one, camera two. On that boat, one of the cameras is hooked up. If you have a rear facing camera, you can just hit the camera and then that image takes over this display. And so you get you know what's going on behind you up on the dash while you're using it. Um, does it show on this whole on the whole screen? It does, no, it does right here. It does okay. So so that you have your gauge information while you're driving. Okay. So you can have both the image facing back or wherever the image head's pointing, as well as you can drive the boat. Um, when the boat's not running, you have a PDF viewer, viewer. So you hit PDF now because we don't need the gauge information because we're not running. You can have a full size PDF come up. This is the user's guide for this system. So. To learn about the system, you can just read the PDF right on the display. Gives kind of orders manual built in. Gives you guys the opportunity to put your own information because you can upload PDFs onto here. So you can have your dealer contact information, emergency contact information, anything that you want to put in PDF format on here. The other now, thing how is, would you download that? I'll show you in just okay. a minute. The, uh, the other thing it has is it has a video player. So we'll turn on the stereo and actually have the, the music coming out through the stereo while the video player is going. So again, this is just a, a video that we put on here just for demonstration purposes. But what it, get, what it allows you guys to do is take a walkthrough with your customers when you're delivering the boat and actually you could record it onto, you know, onto whatever, onto a GoPro camera or whatever. Turn it into a, a proper file format and then save it onto the system so that they could have it. You could also, at the dealership level, create your own videos. What happens if your boat doesn't start? Check the lanyard. Make sure that the boat's in neutral. You know, you could do little, little videos to help the help the owners, you know, learn about their boat, how to properly trailer the boat, how to, you know, you could put together just dealership level videos and then give that kind of um, tool to your customers to be successful with the product. Pretty cool, huh? Or boat shows. For boat shows, you could have like a presentation like they could watch shows, on there. I know Premier is working on a video. You could have it running, and then you put it in loop mode, and it'll just keep running on the dash while you're at the boat show. Nice. It's pretty cool. Um, the other thing that, uh, that you have up here is, again, you have your, usually your, your music information, what's playing. You have your cell phone uh, connectivity, battery life, XM. If XM was uh, hooked up, you'd see the signal strength of the XM. The other thing, when your phone's hooked up, you can stream music over it, but also, it will, if somebody calls me, it'll open up a window on there saying, call from da 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 da, and you can hit OK. Like the Bluetooth on a car. Yeah. Well, you can't you can't hit OK and start talking, because we can't, we have no way of doing the whole voice recognition stuff in a boat environment. Okay. All it really is there is if you have your, glove bo your phone in the glove box or, or somewhere else, it just gives you notice that you're getting a call. Okay. Okay. Now, um, is the stereo Bluetooth? The stereo is Bluetooth. Well, actually, the Bluetooth is hooking up to this system, and then this system streams to the stereo. It controls the stereo. I mean, from your phone, can you tie your phone in with that without connect, without hooking it up? Yeah, mine's hooked up right now. Okay. Well, my, my phone is the one talking to this right now, so that's my signal strength. And I believe I'm playing Pandora. Nope, I wasn't playing Pandora. Um, Anyway, you can yeah, you yeah. can stream stream media. Okay. Um, so over here you have all your switching. So your switches are always there. So you can just turn on and off any one of the switches. So that was an all off button. So you can turn you know back on these buttons. So you just tap these the ones that have multiple levels of brightness. You just tap it three times and then the fourth is off. Tap it back on. But again, your all off button there, you know, just shuts it all off at one time. It's kind of nice. Turn those back on just so they look fun. Um, you also know that's always up, always present. Your stereo controls for volume up, volume down, mute, track forward, track back is always there. Then this bottom content, there's three things that it can do. It can be your stereo head unit, so you hit the little music button. So now here's your Bluetooth, and so it shows you Lance's phone's hooked up and what track information it's on. Um, and then, uh, and then like EQ, we hide that, but then you hit the EQ button, we bring it up, 
only for a period of time and then we'll hide it again. So we're just trying to keep it as clean and as simple as possible. So then you go back to the source page, you hit uh, FM. Now we bring up, here's your presets for FM. Here's your seek forward, seek back. So that information is relative to FM, but it's not to Bluetooth. That's why we got rid of it in Bluetooth. Still your EQ information's there. Go back to Bluetooth so it's quiet for me. <laughs> so, so it's your main head unit of your stereo. It does a nice job. The Bluetooth hooks up through the system. Um, like the, uh, well, I'll, I'll tell you that in a minute. The other thing that this does down here is it's your navigation. We hop the, uh, the, the controls for the navigation and stereo up just so that we could have as big a room as possible for the navigation. This is a Navionics based um, system. It comes preloaded with an 8 gig North American card, but you need to register it. So at, at your dealership, part of your process of delivering the boat should be to get to the computer at the back, pull the Navionics card out, take it in, put it in the computer, register it for the owners, and download the detailed information for the area of use. Pretty important, because if not, you won't get all the depth contours and all the detailed information on the on the lakes and waterways that they've And built. where would we register it again? Navionics uh, website. Okay. And it's in that PDF that, that's part of the user's guide. It'll explain okay. how to do that. Okay? Not to, not to interrupt, but I just wanted to let you know that that presentation will be taking place in the showroom in probably about four minutes. Okay. okay. So you want to well, see it. I'm almost done. Okay. Lastly, here's your settings menu. So your settings menu, this is where you go in. Um, some of the fun things you can do, like this is your backlighting. You control what the backlighting information, or how bright it is, daytime and night. Um, you go up all the way to the top. Color. You can got three color choices for this system. So you can change it to amber, uh, which matches that boat really nice. You can change it to red. Oh, and wow. then you can have it go to blue. So, you know, just whatever the customer wants. Majestic. Oh, it's a grand majestic. It's a grand majestic.